Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video here today. Now, guys, in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about something that I generally actually don't talk about. We tend to talk more about, you know, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin mining, you know, the stock market, stuff like that. But I want to go ahead and dive into something today that I do think is certainly worth talking about. And uh, it's an experience that I've had quite a bit as of late, and especially relatively recently. Uh, you know, like a lot of people for a long time, I was buying pretty inexpensive clothing, okay? And I still have a lot of clothing that's relatively okay, all right? I actually bought some Amazon Basics clothing, which uh, sometimes is, is fine, you know? I, I've done the department store thing, uh, and, you know, it's, it's all been relatively okay, but lately, I've been trying to make a lot more of a concerted effort to buy things that are longer lasting, okay? And that's when I started to get a lot more into Patagonia. I want to say right now that buying Patagonia clothing has saved me money. That might seem really counterintuitive. It might seem really weird to think about, right? Because Patagonia clothing uh, is not known for being inexpensive. It's actually relatively pricey. But I've discovered that there are a couple of different things that are different, okay? Because Patagonia is more expensive, but it's not so expensive that it's unobtainable, okay? In other words, each item uh, generally is going to be priced probably between about $50 and $200. And there are some basic items that I still buy from other places. T-shirts, uh, you know, obviously socks, stuff like that. Well, for socks, uh, I prefer to buy either Darn Tough or Smart Wool. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, but anyway, that's a topic for a different video, okay? For outerwear, for shirts, for jeans, for pants, Patagonia, and for hats and stuff, too. Patagonia has become my go-to, okay? Because here's the thing. If I buy one Patagonia sweater, it ends up lasting me way longer than really anything else, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I've... Obviously, I, I used to be a, uh, a pretty big fan of J. Crew, of Uniqlo, of companies that were, you know, less expensive, but kind of more, I suppose, fast fashion-esque, if you, if you want to... Uh, I guess, describe them in that way. Uh, it is relatively fitting. But I would buy stuff from those companies, and it would just end up not really lasting. Okay? Uh, it would end up not fitting me well. That was relatively often. I would buy it more on an impulse. Okay? Say, for example, some sort of manufacturer or outlet or whatever had a sale where you could buy 10 sweaters for $50. Okay? One Patagonia sweater might be 140 bucks. For example, uh, this is actually, and I have it pulled up here on screen. I'll, I'll show you guys this really quick. Uh, this is the Better Sweater Fleece Jacket. It's actually right here. Uh, and yeah, there are a lot of different colors available for this. Uh, pretty good variety. These are relatively popular. And uh, yeah, the price tag here is, is 139 um, And, you know, some of the colors won't be available for certain sizes. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, the price tag is $139. That might seem relatively expensive, but here's the thing. I've had this... Uh, hold on a, se a second here. Let me go ahead and change back to the main camera. I've had this version of the Better Sweater Fleece Jacket, that's what this is, uh, for two years now. Okay? I've worn it through the winter. I've worn it in the fall. I haven't really worn it in the spring because it's pretty warm. And I also bought this used. All right, so I bought it used, and I've used it for two years. I have noticed quite literally no deterioration of anything on the sweater. Nothing. Okay, it's got a pocket right here. I'm looking at the opposite side. It's got a pocket right here. It's pretty simple. It's got pockets right here. It zips up. Okay, it's got some interior pockets, and uh, it's it's kind of hard to do a full review when you're when you're sitting down, okay, but maybe I'll do that in the future, depending. And, you know, I think when I bought this used, I want to say I paid like 80 or $90 for it. It was in good condition, but I've had it for years now, for two years, and I haven't been nice to it, okay? I really haven't been. 
and it has still held up very, very well. In that same time frame, two years, okay, from other companies, I genuinely think I probably could have gone through three or four sweaters, okay? Just because, I, I again, I'm not really all that gentle on this stuff. Patagonia is, is a lot more durable. We'll talk about that in just a second. We kind of are already, but it's held up extremely, extremely well. It still fits exactly the same as it used to. If I'm going to wash it, I'll just wash it, uh, you know, it, it, with cold water, and then I, I hang it up to dry. Uh, you know, again, this is not really something you want to put through the dryer because that can, you know, cause it to, to you know, shrink, contract, all of that. Uh, I've found the Patagonia stuff typically doesn't really shrink too badly anyway, but uh, with that being said, it has held up extraordinarily, okay? Through snow shoveling, through cleaning off cars, through slipping, you know, <laughs> outside. Uh, I really have not been that kind to it. And, you know, $70, $80 spent, it's still going strong. This is something I can see realistically lasting 10 years. And I really don't think that that's an exaggeration. I mean, if we look at the elbows here, that's usually a good sign of wear, right? There's really nothing here to speak of. The stitching is very well done. It's really enforced, uh, or reinforced, I should say. Um, I found the sleeves to be a little long. That's why they're rolled up like this. And uh, you could get this tailored, I suppose, if you wanted to. Um, I do pretty much always wear an XL, but the sleeves... Uh, sometimes are a little long. The sleeves are not super bulky. They're relatively tailored, uh, which I think is quite nice. And when it zips up, it's it's nice and warm. It's it's really warm in the winter time. You can wear this under an outer layer from Patagonia also, and it generally does a really nice job of keeping you warm. Uh, the collar can sit up a little bit higher if you want to zip it most of the way, and it's really versatile. It's really versatile, it fits really well, it's really high quality, it's extremely durable, it's comfortable, and this, I think, brings up another really good point. Not only does this stuff last longer, but I have found when I buy Patagonia stuff, whether it's used, whether it's new, and I take the time to look for it, I take the time to find it, and I really, you know, look around, explore the options, uh, do a lot of research, if I buy one item and I really like it, okay, I am far less prone to buying a ton of different things. You look at those less expensive sweaters, and this is kind of more of a sweater jacket, I suppose, but you look at those less expensive sweaters, the sweaters that are like, you know, on sale for five, ten dollars you look at them and you instantly think, that's not going to be as good as the Patagonia sweater I have. That's not going to be as nice, it's not going to fit as well, it's not going to look as nice. I'm not interested, you know, and then you move on. So it kind of keeps you from wasting money in that way also. Not only does this stuff last longer, not only does it hold up better, it really doesn't deteriorate, it holds up very, very well. You also look at stuff that's, that's you know, of a lower quality, and you just sort of go, well, I'm not that interested. I just don't, it's not that great. You know, I've got a sweater I really like. And then the thing is, as you have these items for like years, right? I mean, I was looking forward to getting this jacket out this winter, this jacket, this sweater, whatever you want to call it. Again, it's a bit of a, a hybrid of both. I was looking forward to getting it back out, okay? There's an old saying, buy once, cry once, okay? Wh which is sort of like, you know, and I think there's a saying from, I want to say Ben Franklin or something too, uh, a saying that's that's kind of like, uh, you know, the, the bitterness of a, of cheap items last longer than the sweetness of, of a, a, a good sale or something like that. I'm forgetting what the quote is exactly. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, let, let, yeah, I'm curious, actually. Uh, the bitterness of poor quality remains long after the sweetness of a low price is forgotten. Uh, that's apparently a quote from Ben Franklin, and uh, I completely agree. I think that quite honestly, you know, again... Are you going to pay a premium for something like this? You will. You know, you you certainly will. And that's a consideration, right? That's something you have to think about. But I have found that this is far better than going out, trying to buy 50 of, of an item, you know, and just spending a ton of money on, on a bunch of things that I won't really like. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of this. Was it more expensive? Yes, it was. Has it held up really well? Yes, it has. Do I think that'll continue? I do. 
And, you know, there are a number of places you can look for used Patagonia items. Uh, you know, eBay, Poshmark, Grailed, uh, those come to mind. Uh, and also, and I want to pull this up on screen really quick. Um, there's also uh, Patagonia Warnware. You guys can see that right here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Patagonia also sells stuff secondhand, which is really nice. And they'll tell you the quality. They'll ship it to you. Uh, it's really very convenient. A lot of these are, are pretty small sizes, uh, but there is some variability here, right? Uh, this is extremely nice. I, I actually think I have one of these as well, and I'd like to do a video on that one. Um, you know, absolutely. I, I, It's just great. The quality is awesome, and uh, it really doesn't have to be that expensive. Um, I think that that's, that's a sort of misconception, right? That people think, well, this is Patagonia. It's got to be really pricey. There are ways to find it for less money. Um, and also, Patagonia has a really good... Uh, product warranty, okay? It's, it's, I believe it's called the Ironclad Warranty, and I usually find that it's really not something you even have to utilize because the stuff lasts so long. Their customer service is fantastic. I'll show you guys something else, um, and this is something, if you guys are fans of Patagonia already, you've probably realized, uh, but if we're looking at the Better Sweater here, okay, the Better uh, Sweater Fleece Jacket, you'll notice that a lot of the colors are pretty neutral, okay? And they're going to be fine for years to come. I mean, I've owned Patagonia stuff before from like the 80s and 90s, and it still holds up. You know, it still looks good. It still looks nice. And it just keeps well. You know, it, it really does. So I think that, again, that's especially noteworthy. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and talk about that. You know, it, it's sort of a clothing hack, if you will, in a way. And it's something that I would encourage, you know, um, if you guys are thinking about stocking up for, you know, the winter with sweaters, with, with jackets, what have you, um, you're probably going to find that your wardrobe isn't as extensive if you're spending more money on stuff, but you're getting higher quality items, okay? And you're going to build a sort of connect uh, connection, you know, an, an attachment to the item itself. Um, I will say that this makes more sense if you are someone who, uh, you know... If, if you're done growing to a certain extent, you know, if you're not going to get a whole lot taller, uh, this is something that can make more sense because you're probably going to be able to keep the item for a long time. Um, you know, I guess you can buy, if, if you want to buy Patagonia clothing for your kids, you could, but they might outgrow it. And that kind of, I think, you know, it, it takes some of the magic away, but I guess hand-me-downs could work also. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, you know, it, it's, it's a way to save money that I think people far too often overlook. Is the initial price expensive? Yeah, it is. There's, there's really no getting around that. The quality is lasting. Uh, it, they generally tend to fit well. I find that Patagonia stuff generally works a little bit better for slightly taller, slightly thinner people. Um, and that just comes down to sizing. You know, I, I, again, I find that the sleeves are relatively long. Uh, and I'm, I'm not really all that thin, so, you know, again, it's something I have to kind of experiment with the things, um, but I've, I've generally figured out what sizes of Patagonia stuff fit on me pretty well. Um, it's going to depend on, on, you know, each person, right? But I think that, again, um, it's really interesting to think about, okay? And it's something I did want to go ahead and bring up because it's something I care about. Uh, it's more sustainable. It's better for the environment. And, you know, you'll probably end up with fewer items, fewer clothing items. But again, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, right? So I did want to go ahead and talk about that. Definitely something I thought I would bring up. And, uh, you know, if you guys are thinking, well, I'm going to go out and buy 10 sweaters, maybe consider buying one instead. Buy it from a company that really puts quality behind their brand. And, uh, you know, I, I will say this video is not sponsored by Patagonia in any way. It's not affiliated with Patagonia. It's literally just my opinion. And, you know, I've been there with, with you know, all of this stuff. I've, I've tried inexpensive clothing. I've tried clothing that is more expensive, but, you know, isn't really made as well. And, uh, you know, I will say that some companies offer good quality clothing that lasts a long time, and some don't. Okay, so it really comes down to personal preference, but I would say that at this point, this has ended up saving me more money. I know Patagonia stuff is expensive, but if you shop around, if you're smart about it, I think it can honestly work. So anyway, guys, with that being said, stop throwing your clothing away. Get some stuff that's more durable. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great one and adios.